Hello, it's Mike from AshTractorMike.com. If you're doing brush hogging late in the season, late in the summer, early fall, there's a danger to your tractor that you need to be aware of. Every few minutes when you're brush hogging, you need to be looking down at your temperature gauge. And if the temperature gauge starts creeping up, you've got a problem that I know we've got on this tractor here today, and I'm going to show you how to take care of it. What's going on when you're brush hogging late in the season? If you're in tall grass, the grass has put out seed heads and those seed heads will shatter and allow that seed to be sucked into the either the grill and or the radiator and impede the flow of air to your engine. And in a worst case scenario, it can do damage to your engine. Also, if it's a hydrostatic drive tractor, it can do damage to the hydro because there is an air cooler for the hydrostat as well. Well, this particular tractor today, we're going to look at what we've got, I think, a clogged radiator, and I'm going to show you how to take care of it. First off, when you look at the front of the tractor, the front grill, you'll notice the front grill is fairly clean. And I learned something a long time ago. This is kind of a little trick when you're brush hogging. If you'll take the loader bucket off, if you've got a quick attach loader bucket, just take it off and lift your loader arms up a little bit. If you have the loader bucket on, what that tends to do is bend over the grass seed and let it fly back into the radiator uh, or into the grill of the tractor, and that tends to make it shatter. And, and the air from the fan will suck it into the radiator. So uh, this particular tractor was used brush hogging without the bucket installed, and so the front grill is fairly clean. But up here on top of the grill, we've got a real problem. The grass seed coming down from the air has, has really plugged up this top screen, and, and the, the tractor gets air from around the front screen and the top screen as well, so they both need to be clean. What we're going to do here is open the hood of the tractor and look at the radiator. And looking at the radiator and the hydro oil cooler, we've got a real problem here. There's a ton of debris. And some of it could be dirt or dust, but most of it is probably grass seed. So we've got to get that out. Well, we know all of that stuff came in from the front, so we're going to push it out through the front rather than try to suck it in. And what we're going to do is take a, a, a leaf blower which I've modified. And, and it's hard to get the leaf blower tube into the radiator and it needs to be turned at almost a right angle in order to blow the debris out. So what I've done is taken my shop vac tube that normally is used to go on the end of the shop vac and I've squeezed it in the end of my leaf blower. And so that's going to divert the air kind of almost at a right angle into the radiator and blow the debris out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fire up my leaf blower and I'm going to show you what comes out of this radiator just so you see what kind of danger you could be in. And all of this is impeding the flow of air that keeps your, your, uh, your engine operating safely and in the cool range. So watch this. This particular tractor was so bad, I'm going to take another step to try to make sure that radiator is completely unplugged. We're going to take a portable air compressor with a blower on the end of it. And you can buy these at just about any uh, uh, lumberyard type place, these blowers. And they, they, they put a really pinpointed blast of air. And we're going to go around to each one of the fins on this tractor and really blast this radiator out good so we're sure it's clean and ready for next season.
right, now that that's done, one last thing we're going to do is blast off the uh, top of the cowling so we get good airflow from the outside and we're good to go.